हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट ग्रेगर जॉन मेंडल सो वी ऑल नो दिस मैन मेंडल ही नीड नॉट एनी काइंड ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन बट स्टिल एज दिस इज द पार्ट ऑफ योर कोर्स यू नो मेनी थिंग्स अबाउट द मेंडल बट हियर आई विल ट्राई टू कवर many other things that you might not be knowing or even if you are knowing this will be ref, uh, as a refreshing uh, class for you so what mendel uh, so first of all we'll see about the mendel so we know uh, there is still confusion because many a places you will see he is considered as father of genetics at many other places you will see he is considered as father of modern genetics so whatever uh, means uh, you in examination you choose the option uh, which is more most appropriate so as per option you have to work if you are getting such type of question in objective uh, type of examinations so mendel was born in july 1822 in austria which is the capital of vienna but previously this place where mendel was born it was in austria but now the place where mendel was born is coming under czech republic and uh, so here in this map you can see the location of uh, czech republic and uh, austria uh, he struggled financially for his education it is considered that he was from poor family and financially he struggled for his earlier education in early graduation day further he suffered from depression and that caused interruption in his studies so with disruption he completed graduation and after that at that time churches were considered as a center of research and education and many of the churches of european uh, uh, european countries they were involved in teaching and research so since his inclination inclination was towards research and teaching he joined the monastery in brno in 1843 for the purpose of uh, uh, contributing to the science uh, by conducting some research or even in the teaching he was uh, very fond of teaching in 1849 he was sent for teaching certification examination from that monastery so that he can become full fledged teacher but he could not qualify the examination for teaching and it was uh, means uh, uh, it is told that he qualified the written examination but in interview or in oral test he failed to qualify uh, as people are telling that he was very shy in nature and so he was having problem while facing the people further he returned from university of vienna as a specialist in physics so he went to university of vienna for his higher studies and he did his studies in physics and he become a specialist in physics so mendel he did work in natural science but he was uh, by education he was a specialist in physics his approach to science had been influenced at the university of vienna by one of his professor the physicist doppler so you might have heard the name of doppler when we are uh, studying sound wave in physics so you might have heard about the doppler so he was very much influenced by doppler so in his studies also in his uh, research also when he was working with uh, plants his approach was uh, having influence of doppler now at home in the monastery's botanical garden he spent many hours a day breeding fascia and pea plants so we are knowing that he was working with pea plant 
but it is not fully true because he tried also first year plant here you can see the this uh, this is the first year plant this is the pea flower and this is the pea plant so he started his work with first year flower uh, first year plant and pea plant both but later he shifted his work to the pea plants his goal was to create hybrid pea plant and observe the outcome so he observed first he was very good observer he observed the plants he set the goal to hybridize the plant pea plant and observed the outcome but his approach was simple he was simply counting the peas and keeping meticulous notes so these two things he uh, kept in his entire work so what he was doing he was counting the pea plants the progeny that pea plants were producing and he was keeping the meticulous notes mendel established with his this work mendel established the principle of inheritance we all know that principle of inheritance he established he coined the term dominant and recessive and he was first to use the statistical method to analyze the analyze and predict hereditary information so his approach was very different he was counting the pea plants and keeping records and by this method he gave the principle of inheritance he coined the term dominant and recessive and first he used the statistical method to analyze and predict the hereditary information so his approach was different that is why at that point of time you might have heard or read somewhere that uh, at that point of uh, time nobody was understanding his work because he was mixing the statistics with the biological science now mendel cultivated thousands of pea plants and used a paint brush so we know that uh, pea plant is uh, having both the sexes in single plant so what he did he took a paint brush he brushed the pollen and kept that pollen on the stigma of either of same plant or of different plant as per his purpose of that work so as he designed his work uh, so he cultivated thousands of pea plants and used paint brush to painstakingly transfer pollen from one plant to other to make his uh, crosses so either he was transferring pollen from pollen from the same plant to same plant uh, transferring pollen to stigma of same plant or transferring pollen to stigma of another plant so as per his wish or as per his planning he was doing this thing by applying the paint press all this he was doing while still attending to his duties as monk and a teacher so he was actually when uh, he was at uh, monastery uh, at vienna uh, or at austria uh, in the church so his duty was to act as a monk in that church and he was involved in teaching also at that church so while doing performing all his duties he was working on pea plants also and keeping records and uh, making notes so how much this shows how much interested he was in his work so uh, as you already know that mendel brilliance he uh, the work of mendel at that time it was considered that it was ahead of its time means nobody was thinking in that way as mendel was will, uh, thinking so people failed to understand what he wanted to tell sorry so on february 8th 1865 mendel presented his work to natural history society of bern so he there was a conference at the natural history society of bern he presented his work in 1865 and next year that is in 1866 1866 he published his work under the title 
एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन प्लांट हाइब्रिडाइजेशन एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन प्लांट हाइब्रिडाइजेशन सो इट वॉज मीन्स इट इज नोन दैट और पीपल आर टेलिंग दैट एट एट द टाइम वेन ही वॉज प्रजेंटिंग इज पेपर एट नेचुरल हिस्ट्री सोसाइटी ऑफ बर्न पीपल प्रजेंट देयर दे एप्रिसिएटेड हिज वर्क बट दे आई मीन्स दे कुड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दे एप्रिसिएटेड हिज मेथडोलॉजी हाउ ही हैज केप द रिकॉर्ड बट दे फेल टू अंडरस्टैंड सो वाइल हिज वर्क वॉज एप्रिसिएटेड फॉर हिज थॉरोनेस मीन्स वॉट एवर ही डिड हिज स्टडी इट वॉज थॉरो बट नो वन सीम टू ग्रैस इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंस द वर्क वॉज सिंपली टू अहेड ऑफ इट्स टाइम टू कॉन्ट्ररी टू द पॉपुलर बिलीफ अबाउट हेरिडिटी सो एट दैट टाइम द पॉपुलर बिलीफ वॉज समथिंग एल्स एंड ही वॉन्टेड टू टेल पीपल और कन्वे पीपल एन आइडिया विच वॉज नॉट फेमिलियर विथ पीपल दे पीपल वेर थिंकिंग नो दिस कैनॉट हैपन और दे वर दे वर नॉट रेडी टू बिलीव वॉट मिंडल वॉज टेलिंग टू देम सो एट दैट point of time mendel once said that my time will come so he only said that my time will come but it was over 30 years before his work was appreciated we all know that mendel's law were rediscovered or mendel principle of inheritance were rediscovered in 1900 so from 1866 to 1866 to 1900 so almost it almost it take 34 years 34 35 years to people to understand his work and appreciate his work so this is how mendel did his work uh, he struggled his in, in his life uh, his approach was different his uh, results were uh not cons- uh, means uh, as per the popular belief so the at that time people could not understand his work and when in 1900 three scientists independently we all know that three scientists from different part of world independently rediscovered his work and then people come to know that, okay at that time mendel said this but nobody was listening so this is what uh, about the uh mendel's early life how he did his work and how he presented his work in the next lecture we will see how actually what mendel worked and what principles of inheritance he can draw from his experiment so till then thank you thank you very much